Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. I am your Bristol Bears gamer and today we have the third and final part on my tutorial series for EA Sports Rugby 08. My favourite rugby game of all time. Um, so far in this series we've covered how to download the game for free, we've gone through how to implement custom screen resolutions to get your game looking as good as possible, so please do go back and watch those videos if you haven't already uh, done that and got your game uh, all on your PC or laptop ready to go, and then this third and final episode in the series now will be how to mod the game to get the updated teams kits players all into your game so that basically you're playing an EA Sports Rugby 21 game I'll go through all the different steps but before we get into this episode properly please do drop a like if you find any of these videos in this series helpful as many likes as possible it really helps out the video and helps other people find these videos leave a comment down below if you have any issues or problems or you just want to let me know that you have managed to get EA Sports Rugby working perfectly in these mods are working fine and most importantly if you want to see more content like this then please hit that subscribe button so first of all again we need to make our way to the trusty rugby forum and to the EA Sports Rugby 08 thread where you'll find lots of different information, mods, helpful pointers and tips from lots of fantastic members of the community. Uh, but the thread that we're looking for is the Rugby 08 Season 2021 patch. And uh, recently the main man, here he is, Peter83. He's been putting in lots and lots of work and finally the 2021 patch is available. So we just go through what this updates now. So you'll get Rugby World Cup 2019, you'll get the Lions Tour 2021, you'll get Guinness Pro 40, Top 14, Premiership, Super Rugby, you'll get Tri-Nations as well. They'll all be updated to 2020, 2021. And if you scroll down here, you will see his instructions and how to implement these patches. So basically, first off, you will need to download each of these three files. So patch one, patch two, and the list, the roster file. So you'll download them and then they will end up in your downloads folder or wherever they will be saved to. Uh, these ones here with the sort of locked folder, they are the files that you'll be downloading. That one, that one, and that one. And then once you've done that, right click, and then hopefully by now you'll have some sort of zipping software. I use FreeArk. Um, it's free, it's easy to find. Just do a little Google search, and then you'll click Extract here. Now to save time, I've already done all of this, and as you can see, the folders are here. There's the roster file. And there are the two patch files. So first of all, we will do the roster. So in the roster, it's not there, but that's the folder you will get. And it will be named 20 underscore 21 dot Ross. Uh, so what you need to do, you obviously need to load up EA Sports Rugby 08, go into the squad management and save any sort of roster. Um, if I go into that now. Um, it'll be in here, here, no it won't, it'll be in here, sorry. Um, once you've saved your first profile and roster, it will come up with these files here. Now what I always do is I always just keep this default roster name, which is RST underscore zero. And then what you do with uh, the folder that you've downloaded over here, nope, sorry, I've completely gone away from that. Here we are, so it'll come like this. Um, I changed the roster name so that it is the same as what you have in your roster file. So the one you've downloaded says 2021. Uh, drag the folder in here and then once you've uh, changed the name, change it to rost underscore zero dot ross. Same with that folder there and it basically will uh, get rid of your default one and replace it with the one that we've downloaded so that when you fire up the game you'll have the latest roster and players available so after that the next steps then are to head to the mods 
and we will start off with the 2019 Pro 40 and Premiership. Now what's different with this one it seems, um, Peter has said that it's best to implement each of them in separate uh, game file folders. So um, normally you would just paste the mod and then implement it into your game files here and you would just paste it into there. Uh, but on this one he wants us to do it in separate folders. So what you need to do is you need to make your way over to your EA Sports Rugby 08 folder. Uh, click in here and when you're on your game files here, literally right click, copy and paste in here. And then that will now give you two separate game files folders. Make sure one is called something different like this one is here called copy. Head on over to the downloads. We'll start with this one here, the 2019 one. And I just uh, copy everything from, I don't, you don't need the ROS because you've already got the updated roster. So I'd go from audio all the way down. Unfortunately, this takes a little minute, but just make sure you copy everything. There's probably an easier way of doing it, but this is how I managed to do it. So you just scroll down until this is all copied and then you'll basically do the same process with the second patch and the difference between the two is literally all the kits and everything are the same but what is different is the tournaments that you can play on in game so one patch has like the guinness premiership and everything like that that you can play and the other one has a selection of different tournaments um, here we go now we're at the bottom um, you don't really need any of them because they're already there. So I stop there, right click, copy, and then head your way over to the game files one. And I'm going to put the 2019 one in the copy. So just go here and just click paste. And then that will put all the modded files into your game files folder. And then all you do when you've got both patches in the separate folders, you just load up your Rugby 08 from whichever folder you want. If it comes up with this, always replace files in your destination. That is now one side of the patch complete. So we'll go here and then we're going to use the game files, the original ones. Go back to your downloads and then look for the other patch, which is the 2020-2021 one there. Same again, just copy everything from audio downwards all the way to the bottom. And of course, once I've done this, I'll run through everything on the game with you as well, just to prove that everything has gone on and it is looking spectacular. But we shall scroll down here, keep going. Like I said, so basically you'll have the game twice, one in your game files, one in your game files slash copy or whatever you decide to call it. If you want to play in the Gallagher Premiership in tournaments and things like that, make sure you use that patch. If you want to use uh, the tournaments that are in the other patch, then you just load up that one. Um, everything else is as normal. So here we go, right click, copy, back over to here and then paste. So we'll just wait for that to go and then that will be the process complete. Of course, if you can get yourself over to the rugby forum and thank the guys there, especially Peter83, again, replace the files in the destination and let me know in the comments if this is working for you and if this is helping you. Um, I get rid of, I'll wait for this to load up. Um, I'm not sure why there's a profile in here, but I don't think you need that in there. And then I'll do the same here because I think that happened there. Yeah. Um, right, so there we go. You've got two modded game file folders. Like I said, depending on which one you want to use, I will go over here and use the copy one. And I will double click Rugby 08. Um, I will just stop now while I load up the software to capture the game properly. So here we are guys on Rugby 21, I've literally just double clicked the icon as you saw previously. Uh, I had to change over my software so I could capture this properly, um, but everything is looking lovely. If you head into the play now section, 
as you can see looking brilliant all the updated kits England there um, if you go across you've got all the super rugby and then the European ones Bath's new kit the Bristol Bears looking spectacular home and away um, you go into the starting 15 and then you've got all the updated squads there um, go across to Wales and then if we make our way to England for example starting 15 Maru Itoji, Tom Curry, Sam Underhill all the latest rosters um, so that is good I'll just go back now to game modes and this is where the difference was that I spotted so on here you've got the World Cup Tri Nations, Six Nations, Ten Nations, the Pro 40, Champions Cup, Lions Tour, Gallagher Premiership. Now if I come out of here and load up the other one I shall show you the difference. So I've now loaded up the second version of the game which is in your second game files folder. If you go over to game modes now, load up new tournament, you'll see that there are different tournaments in there. So you've got the Trans Tasman Rugby and the Top 14 instead of the Pro 14 and the Guinness Premiership. So that is basically your two differences in the game. Now I'll just fly off to a game here. Let's do England and we'll do versus... Uh, let's see what we can find. Someone with a new kit that we can show off. There we go. We'll do Wales and we'll just fly into the game just to show you guys that it looks absolutely spectacular so make sure you use all of the other tips get the game looking as good as you can with your custom resolution and things like that here we go the two teams walking out onto the pitch and once again I cannot thank the team on the rugby forum enough Peter 83 especially for all of his hard work if you're not involved in that community head on over there and get involved for things like this it is looking breathtaking to say the least if this has helped you please leave a comment down below i want to hear from everyone who's managed to get the game looking as spectacular as this leave a comment down below letting me know it's all worked fine for you if you have any problems feel free to comment and i'll try i will try and help out the best i can but for now Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed this content. That is the end of the tutorial series, but from now I will probably go into doing a Rugby 08 series in some form of a tournament or something like that. So you have that to look forward to, but hitting that like button really does help out. Like I said, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. I'll see you in the virtual scrum.